everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Operation Destroy, Op Destroy for short. And today, guys, I'm bringing you some more Boom Beach content um, on a much lower level account. This is my wife's account, Sunboom, um, level 46, guys. Um, thought I would bring some of this action back into the into my channel because um, I did get a few little bit of feedback from some subscribers saying hey you know let's 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 take it down a notch and uh, show some uh, lower level gameplay and that's what I'm doing today guys I am gonna be limiting myself I am not at my full capacity here as far as my level and my power so I'm gonna have to make do with what I have and see how I can uh, how I can uh, manage these uh, these bases on the archipelago with this lower level account guys um, as you can see here my wife's account she has um, level 14 zookas um, oops um, and heavies level 15 my meat shields yeah those are the meat shields guys for the zookas and um, you, obviously her landing crafts aren't all maxed out she has a level 14 a 13 another 13 um, a 14 15 and 12 so she's kind of all over the place with the landing crafts here it doesn't have her last boat as well so we have to be very careful when we're attacking bases, guys, because we don't have that many troops or reinforcements. Uh, daily reward. Oh, man. I get shards. She gets fragments. So we'll take the fragments and the gear ticket. And, oh, wow. Operation reward for their operation. I guess we'll get the gem. Why not? And um, let's go take a look at the statues that my wife's, my lower level account that she has. She has a damage building defensive damage masterpiece 27%. That is good to ward off um, incoming troops that attack your base. Um, a masterpiece troop health, 30%, which is great. I don't have that. <laughs> My Zookas perish quick with that. Um, a masterpiece damage, 28%. Not super bad. Absolutely great. A guardian gunboat, 16%. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, a Guardian Troop damage 13%, which is epic. That's the highest Guardian damage you can get. Um, a Resource Reward, guys. I must stress it enough that at this point, in you, if you're this low of a level or even lower, having a Resource Reward statue is key to your, um, your success. What I mean by that is um, when you want to buy or upgrade buildings, you're going to need to pull in extra income to actually uh, fund that. And so this is a great way to um, upgrade, uh, finance your upgrade by getting more gold for your uh, for your attacks, guys. So, and then she also has a power stone chance, a 69% power stone chance to in guarantee her or increase her odds of getting uh, shards, crystals, or even that fragments on her level. So what we're gonna do, guys, today is um, I'm gonna go to the trader and see she does have a free gear heart tote or trader crate so let's just open that up and see what she gets and she is going to get a let's see here a gear ticket token and 59,270 in gold guys she has three more gears tickets so let's just open up one more so because it's going to cost us three and see what we can get out here and it looks like we're going to get a gear token and 64k in gold so good. Ooh, I like the fact that she's uh, selling blue crystals, guys. Because on my higher level account, you know I'm going to be taking taking advantage of that offer. I can get seven of them for seven red magma crystals. And that way I can get a actually masterpiece with my, uh, my eye statue. So I'm looking forward to that on my uh, higher level account. So uh, I do sound if I'm if I'm kind of like not super duper excited I did kind of take a nap a little bit ago and you can tell by my hair um, that I fell asleep I had an early start to work this morning and it really took a toll on me and so I kind of took a little dozy nap earlier so let's jump into this game guys and see where we're going there is Dr. T right here I will um, attack him but uh, let's just go look for some player bases right now and see how I can take them down if that right um, I probably should be boosting the um, resource reward statue. So we're going to boost that. And um, she doesn't have any others. Wait, how many statues? Three, six, seven. Does she have another one? Yeah, there it is. It's a uh, gunboat energy 22% masterpiece. I don't know why it's way over there. Let's bring it over here and uh, place it. Um, where did it go? Back to its location. All right, all right. 
I'm not in the business of moving statues, but today I am. <laughs> okay, and she has a gunboat 22%. I'm going to see if I can take out bases with just this. Again, it depends on where these bases are set, guys. If they're back far enough, then um, we're going to need extra GBE. But uh, this base here looks like we might be able to take it out. Um, now, with the GBE that she has, I should show you the GBE that she has. I, I, I haven't really covered that basis yet. With her statues, guys, she has a total of 61 GBE. That is super low, and um, you're go I'm gonna need I'm gonna need all the GBE I can get to um, take out these bases. So, going back to that one base here, uh, Des Pants. Let's take out uh, Des Pants. Des Pants. <laughs> um, Again, he or she is boasting a 163,000 gold, guys. But look at my resource reward. I'm going to get like almost double that if I can take this base out. So let's go in right now and let's see what we can do here, guys. This base, and I don't think she has critters yet, so I have to be mindful of that. And um, so what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm just going to actually barrage where that machine gun is. And that way to clean up some of the mines... And uh, that machine gun is still showing strength, so we're going to throw an artillery on it and take it out. With 51 GBE left, guys, we're going to actually flare our heavies and zookas right there. But I'm going to let the heavies out first, and then the zookas out second. And then I'm just going to kind of just uh, wait till they target my, my, my zookas. My, not my zookas, my heavies. <laughs> And then we're going to actually flare to the core here and we're going to start shocking and we're going to take this base hopefully with the heavies getting in front being the, the, the actual meat shield of my Zookas and uh, we'll throw some Dr. Uh, Kavan critters out to help and down goes to pants um, and we will get now that base was super close guys that base was actually on uh, the beach pretty much and um, was able to take it down with some casualties guys 18 zookas perished and four heavies so this can be a challenge and again the heavy zooka tactic guys is the best by far uh, troop combination to take out bases warriors come into a dead heat second and I gotta fix my phone here because my green whoa, my green screen is yeah okay and let's get the lighting better <laughs> okay sorry guys so anyways so back to what i was saying the heavy zooka is the smartest way to take down bases um all zookas obviously if you can get away with it but uh your heavies are that extra level of protection for your zookas when actually going against player bases so um, again with the endless reserves we got those back i believe yes we did and let's go look at another player base guys so i'm gonna see if i can take out this guy this is crate Crezors? Crezors. Okay, he has amplified rockets. So what's going to have to happen here is I'm going to have to like seriously um, not do anything but just go up to the base and hopefully have enough GBE to take it out. Now with the amplified rockets, guys, that's that's a danger for my Zookas and I got to be very careful. So that's a long walk, guys. I should probably boost my GBE statue because I probably won't make it there with all the smoke. Um, I, I can try it and see where it takes me, but uh, um, I'm afraid I'll run over these mines and my Zookas will perish. But let's, I see a good kill spot right there. Up, I mean, that's a beautiful spot. Um, I just need the GBE. I'm just wondering if I have the GBE to get there. So let's get in there right now. And um, I'm going to see where that reaches and where that rocket reaches. That rocket reaches there. So I'm not going to actually, I'm only going to use one smoke, guys, to start with. You got to use, you got to use, use that logic right there. So I'm going to flare right here. Let my heavies out first and then my Zookas. That way my heavies can hit the mines first, guys. So we're going to actually, I'm going to do that. My Zookas might hit some of those mines there, but we're going to actually now flare all the way up to that kill spot now, and um, actually they're surviving, but we got Kavan actually healing our Zookas, so that is good. With 42 GBE left, we have to be very careful getting our troops up to that kill spot with 21 GBE left, guys, and her, her flares don't last that long, so we need to get up there. The smokes don't even last long, too, so we're going to need to shock that rocket, and that flamethrower actually is um, going to actually melt my Zookas, 
And we got rockets hitting my Zookas as well. So that's going to be a fail, guys, because I did not have the GBE. I should have boosted my GBE, and we probably would have had that. So um, that's not going to work there, and um, we are going to be taken out. Um, I didn't realize that, yes, her level smokes and her flares aren't super high, so they run out super quick. And that's also key when doing some taxa like this, when you're doing a smoky hookah or what have you. So uh, let's try now. Let's just try to clear with warriors, guys. Warriors are pretty safe when taking down bases because they're quick and they can get the job done. So let's get just get the warriors in there and we're gonna go back to this base and um, we're gonna try to uh, take it out as is without boosting the GBE guys um, and let's see where we go so let's actually flare to this um, sniper tower here we are gonna have some warriors hopefully getting damaged but hopefully Kavan can get in there and heal them real quick and then we're going to flare to this, uh, dam uh, this sh right here. Okay, kind of let them re recuperate here a little bit. I probably should have had a med kit on them, but let's go there. And now to the HQ. So we're going to go smoke there and smoke one more time on the HQ. Now I have the HQ at the top really poorly smoked, so there's going to be a few warriors sticking out at the top. So we're going to actually shock the rockets now. And throw a med kit on top of the warriors, guys. Again, throwing a med kit on the warriors, and each time they hit with their 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 raw hammer, they are definitely healing themselves. So it looks like it's going to be a close one here, but it looks like we are going to get this base, and we take out this long base, guys. This was a super long. He even was sporting some ice. So we actually did a good job there without really boosting. And we did lose a lot. Well, look how much gold we just inherited, guys. Over eight, almost 800,000 gold. And we got a, our supply chest unlocked. And always, we're taking the fragments. We're taking the power stones, guys, for sure. That is the way to do it. So let's just continue to push with warriors, guys. I probably should have started with this. Warriors are really your best bet. I, let me let me rewind a little bit and say heavy zuka are the top killers for bases but you got to have them leveled up right and you got to have that level right to get them so I i'm gonna stick with my warriors guys i think the warriors are the best because they heal they can heal themselves upon each hit with their hammer and then you know with obviously the heroes a uh, kavan can actually heal them as well so again guys warriors smoky warriors for low level would probably be your best bet to climb um Unless you got like killer GBE statues, unless you got uh, and you're boosting them. Um, but right now, I'm not really boosting any statues except for my resource, my resource reward, just to get the extra loot um, from these attacks. So let's go over here to G Ka. And he's check him out. Now, I always check these bases out before I attack because these are, I'm not fully maxed out, so you have to really pay attention to detail. Um, this guy's base is super close. Um, I see all the mines to the left. We're not going to have a mine issue, guys. So this one shouldn't be that bad at all. So let's jump in and take this base out. And we'll uh, flare right to this machine gun here and get our warriors out. And I'm going to smoke and smoke and smoke. Now, the reason why I use a little bit extra smoke there, because the base, the HQ is super close to the uh, ocean there. Or the beach, and I'm able to. I'm actually. I'm gonna smoke right this time, so they don't stick out. <laughs> now I have 36 GBE guys, so I'm gonna make sure the shock launcher is shocked, and the rockets, the flamethrowers, and um, we're gonna throw a med kit here, double med kit, and let our let the warriors do their work, and boom, destroy that base. And I'm not too sure based off her 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 gunboat. Um, whether she has uh, lost any troops or not. So there we are collecting some more money. 345,000. I did lose four warriors in that, but I got a shard and a fragment uh, life uh, power stone. So there we are. Look at our gold. And she doesn't have the tribal yet, guys. You, you unlocked. I don't know when. You, I forgot when you unlocked that. I should have done my, my homework on that. But uh, uh, 
once she unlocks it, I will take advantage of it. That's also an extra boost, guys, when you need it the most. So uh, let's go to Big Dog next, guys, and see what he is on sporting on his base here. Now, we have another base up here, guys, that is really um, way up top. And um, he has a laser beam as well. They don't. I don't really worry about warriors with those. But um, if you look, if I just shock the, the uh, shock launcher and uh, maybe this rocket here, if I have enough for that, I don't think I can get him in one shock. I mean, it would be super close, but I don't think I can. Um, then I think we should be able to take this base out. But uh, again, this also makes that I need to make sure I have enough uh, GBE to get there. So let's just try it and see what we got to do. Um, it looks like um, I, I, I wish I could just barrage this, but I should just artillery these boom mines. Um, it's, it's, it's hard watching me spend that much GBE um, when you don't have that much. So I'm going to be really conservative and just smoke once and twice for the flamethrower. Some warriors are going to get tagged, but we need Kavan to get in there, our, our big med kit, and kind of heal. And we're going to actually now flare to this sniper tower. 39 GBE, guys. So I'm going to try to just kind of make, like, like, really... <laughs> All right, I have one more, and I can only flare. So I have enough for a one shock, guys, and then it's over. So that shock launcher is getting shocked, and that's it. I can't heal. I can't do anything. So we're going to just shock the shock launcher, and uh, let's hopefully our warriors can uh, reheal themselves as they hit. It looks like they're doing a pretty good job. We have rockets coming in. Come on, warriors. Use that strong. I don't know, guys. It looks like we are going to maybe fail this. Um, yeah, it's gonna be close, and yeah, we fail, and boom, it was super close. So, yeah, I failed that one. But, um, if again, guys, are you willing to boost um, the GBE? And we will now, we will now to, to guarantee us a little bit more GBE. Let's jump in and take out big dog, guys. Um, sometimes the boost you need a boost to help, and uh, we're gonna do that right now. So, let's again take out these boom mines so our warriors don't perish on them. And we will definitely um, go one smoke and one smoke for the uh, flamethrower. And yeah, they're getting hit. But if Kavan could get in there and do some work, we can work it out. Go to the sniper tower now, guys. And we're going to do smoke. Smoke. Wow, I got some I got some red line and warriors here. <laughs> let's throw a med kit on him right now just to help out Kavan. Did he die already? Okay, let's, let's smoke the HQ now and get into there. And it looks like we're going to have, ooh, I think just only one shock, guys. So we're going to shock and um, let's see what we, again, I don't know if we're going to get this because uh, I, I, only, I had more GBE, but my warriors are, it looks like they're going to, I don't know. And we got that shock back on. So no, we're not going to do this, guys. So, um, I'd probably need to boost my damage now um, to actually pick this out. So let's go back to the uh, statues and boost our damage. And even let's get our other GBE boost. Um, my wife's count is is pretty kicking on only 16 power powder. So you got to get all this in, guys, to make it really count. Make sure you clear your map if you're going to boost your statues, um, especially the how many I'm boosting now. Make sure you clear your map to get back all the power stones to make more crystals, to make more masterpieces, and uh, to reclaim the power powder you lost because you're going to need to. You're going to need to. So Big Dog, with the boost in the GBE, with the boost on the damage, we're taking you out this time, dude. We are taking you out, so we're going to actually do that. I wish she had critters, otherwise I'd be using critters, and uh, that would be very helpful. But we're gonna go here and um, let our we're gonna actually med kit the warriors one time here, and we're gonna flare now to this sniper tower, and we're gonna just smoke, 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 <laughs> and smoke to the HQ with another flare. And now we have 20 GBE guys, which means I can smoke, I can shock twice now. So I will be getting that shock and the rocket and yeah. And now with the boosted statues, guys, with the damage, now our warriors have no problem um, taking this base out, guys. So again, clear your map with a full boost if you're going to use it, but preciously clear it, guys, because don't waste 
Don't waste your boost, guys, because it, it, they're very limited at this, this stage. You don't have that much power powder, I get it. And you want to make use of it to the fullest. So let's continue to go through here, guys, and check out this player's base. And it looks like his HQ's to the left there. Got a few mines to clear, um, but I don't think it's that bad. So what we're going to do here is... Um, I'm going to actually um, only destroy the three mines here um, with one artillery. If you go in the middle right there, you'll usually get all three of them. And I'm going to leave that boom mine, guys, because uh, my warriors are probably hit it. So we're going to actually flare our warriors like smoke, like Smokey Zuka, guys. Nothing's going to hit them, but I just want them to be grouped together. And then I'm actually going to flare them right to this sniper tower here. And we're probably going to lose a couple here from the boom mine. Um, and then we're going to go right to this uh, mortar here and smoke our warriors beautifully. We have a lot of GBE guys left, so I'm too, super thrilled about that. Let's smoke that HQ and flare it. And I like to smoke first before I flare, especially if it's just one building over. That way um, you can definitely... We're going to do that, and we're going to throw some med kits. That way you're assured that they're going to be under the smoke when they're doing this. And um, that base is going down. So thank you so much. Not too bad, guys. And uh, we take this base out. So again, guys, let me reiterate. Smoky Warriors are probably going to be your best bet on these bases early on in this game. Um, again, my wife's level 46. She's not super early, but she's not super like late either. She's a... She's, uh, quite young in the boom beach but boom beach community so um we're gonna definitely uh stick to our guns on that one this base here guys like i said uh, looking at these hqs these old hqs um a level 16 uh, it just brings back the memories when i was here and it was just it's crazy it's really crazy but this is a close base guys to the beach so this is gonna be no problem at all um absolutely with 78 gbe we should take this one no problem um i have a a, a rocket launcher that probably will fire on my warriors I'm not going to be too worried, so I'm going to smoke here and smoke there. And, um, yeah, a couple of them get picked off a little bit. Not picked off, but kind of pinged, and they're no problem. So we're going to smoke here and smoke this uh, sniper tower. Let them sit still, then properly smoke the HQ and flare after that. That way they can stay under the smoke comfortably, and then you get to look at your shock points, guys, here, and make sure you get the right shocks off. So we're going to shock this rocket, shock that rocket, and shock that, uh, I, did, I, I hit the button, shock the, the machine gun and cannon, and down goes this base here, guys. So, again, again, use your, 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 your best determination on how you take these bases down. If they're close to the beach then you, you, you're, you're, you're pretty good golden, guys. You're probably going to take these things down, no problem. But when they're further back, kind of count the GBE that you have, calculate it, and see if you're able to do that. Just that, okay? So we're moving along, and um, we're going to check out I Miss Bluebell and see what this player has for us here. Um, I see a HQ that is just ready to be taken down, guys. Now, if you look at the inner ring of the rocket, guys, um, that indicates that that rocket will not fire on these warriors. That is a bad placement by Miss Bluebell. I miss Bluebell uh, because that's going to do no damage to my troops when they're in that inner circle. So I don't need to worry about shocking that thing at all. Um, the flamethrower, yes, but it, I, I think we can actually medkit our troops. The only thing I'm really worried about, guys, is the shock launchers too. Bad placement. They can't reach the HQ. If you look at their outer ring, the warriors will be out of that, and I don't even need to shock those. Um, so this is actually going to be kudos for me. Um, it should be not too bad at all. And again, just looking at the bases, scouting them, take the time to actually scout them and really get your game plan in place, and that way uh, you can uh, plan accordingly and get these bases taken care of. So I'm going to actually smoke here and smoke there, and um, we're going to throw a med kit because we're going to have a lot of mines hitting our troops. Um, and we're going to just wait till they med kit. And we're going to go up to this storage bin. And we're going to move up and go right there with 47 GBE left. You guys, we're going to actually now flare to the HQ and smoke and smoke one more time. 
for our warriors to sit pretty right there. And like I said, guys, my, my main concern is not that rocket. It will not fire on my troops. I will shock and shock these rockets here and throw a med kit because that flamethrower is tagging my troops. And if you look, guys, all you see is flamethrower and some mortars and boom cannons and cannons taking down some of my warriors. Um, man, this base... Wow, did this person have ice? Because I don't know if I'm going to take this down. Because, uh, yeah, it must be have ice. Maybe I'm not taking it down. Does it have ice? That's one thing I forgot. To oh, duh. Look at the look at the health on the <laughs> my air. I didn't look at the uh, statues this character had. And I did fall victim to it. So this base now, when it's like this, guys, your best bet now, I I'll be honest with you, would be to uh, probably get tanks um, and uh, um, maybe uh, well you got to watch out for the boom can the doom cannon here and the boom cannons so um, I'm thinking I don't think I have any more troop damage master uh, guardians do I I have a troop help but that's not gonna matter to cannons and boom cannons um, and so that one was pretty crazy this time around I'm going to try to do that again. Miss Bluebell, uh, good attack. I mean, great defense. I didn't even look at your blue statues. This time, I'm going to, um, yeah, we're going to do this again. And I'm going to see if I can do this and conserve GBE. So I'm going to actually do this and throw med kits. And, oh, man, that was painful. Painful, I tell you. Let's go right to this gold storage bin now and move. And okay, they're gonna hit that. <laughs> oh, they're on fire. Okay, and now we're gonna actually go right to the HQ and do that. And 27 GBE left, guys. I think I lost some warriors, and I better be good about it. So I'm gonna actually not, I'm gonna shock the boom cannons this time and those cannons. And I'm going to let the actual rockets hit him because they aren't doing super much damage. Um, I'm going to help him with an artillery here to the HQ and see if that's going to do it. Um, it looks like it's going to be close, guys, but that HQ health is not going down. It is, but come on, warriors. Do it. Do it. And do it. There we go. Got it down, guys. So, again, looking at um, the, uh, the uh, damage from rockets... Um, when they're not super high level guys your warriors upon each swiping that hammer they're going to heal themselves at a rate that's not going to be able to let the rocket launchers take you out unless there's like four rocket launchers taking you out but there i took it out not shocking the rockets but the actual other defenses like the cannons and the boom cannons that could one shot my warriors um oh i upgraded her account to lieutenant lieutenant sweet um so you gotta be mindful of that. There's different area tactical areas, guys, where you need to be very mindful of this. I do apologize if I'm all over the place. I'm not really explaining myself fully. Again, I just woke up and I'm uh, uh, and I'm just like out of it, perhaps. <laughs> and so let's go to the red skull. I'm gonna make this my last attack, guys. It's already a 28-minute video, and I don't want to make it super long. So I'm gonna do this last base, and we're gonna call it a day. Grade me on an A to F, guys. Whether I if I explain this okay, but. Um, I, I kind of went backwards from saying heavy zooka, which it is. That's a great at killing attack strategy. Now, you don't have to do smoky heavy zooka, guys. You could just, just kind of clear, let your zookas and heavies play out like as they would. Um, but uh, I recommend the smoky zooka, hookah uh, strategy. And uh, But right now, the warriors are winning these battles for us. So I'm, I'm going to say warriors, guys. So if you're low level, get your warrior tactics on. And uh, that way we can uh, we can we can win some some battles out there and get some and get some good loot for our 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 progress and participation. So let's get our warriors out here, guys, and smoke and smoke to that uh, fl that flamethrower. Yes, a couple of them are. Oh well, we got a shock. Get in there. Well, um, and then now we're gonna go right to the HQ, guys, and smoke and smoke. Wow, they're running all over the place. All right, with 43 GBE left, we are going to shock um, there, there, and there. And um, that should be totally fine there. It looks like we're going to get no problem at all. The red skull is going down, and down it goes. And it did have some, he has some ice too as well. So be watchful of the statues, guys. If you see blue on there, 
Uh, make sure you have enough juice to get those um, to get these ba these bases taken down because apparently I bagged on I Miss Blue and I thought oh this base is totally cakewalk but then I didn't realize all the ice statues that this person had so that cost me one attack and yeah I fixed it and I actually um, <laughs> um, rebounded and took it out later. Um, Playing smarter, so smarter is the key here, guys. Use the d uh, determination to attack when going against these bases by looking at statues, making sure you have the gunboat energy, and if you're going to boost, make sure you clear your map in its entirety. That way, you cash in on the boost, guys. Because like I say, boosts are precious. They're very precious. The power powders, the power stones are precious. They're very scarce. You don't always get them and you need to use them wisely. So that's my tips for the day, guys, on the lower level. I hope that helped a little bit. If I was all over the place, I do apologize. I will get more back into lower lower level gameplay, but I've been so maxed out on my other account that it's I don't think of stuff like this because I don't need to really. So I'm, I'm actually got to get down to the level where I actually can associate myself with lower level players because I know it's tough. And I do appreciate the sub who wanted me to play lower level gameplay. And I will continue to, guys. This is not just the only video. So watch my channel and you'll see some more low level gameplay. Um, I'll take on Dr. T next time. But uh, let's, uh, let's just call it a day there. And I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Stay tuned. Peace out. Bye-bye.